Hello, this is Karen Gosling from Change Your Man Toolkit, talking with you about the tool, perhaps my favorite tool called Sex Startup. And this is the tool that you are definitely going to want to use when you're wanting to start up having sex again after ages without it. You know, it happens so often in relationships um, that it's fantastic at the beginning, sex is easy, sex is fun, sex is regular, um, and you think it's gonna be like this forever. But if you're like Debbie and Chris, that's how it was for them as well at the beginning, life sort of got in the way. You know, Debbie became a full-time mum, Chris was away working, he would come home tired, she was frazzled with the kids. Um, you know, they were both involved with outside things, Debbie was involved with a, with a choir and went to practice and she was involved on a Sunday morning at the church choir. You know, Chris stayed at home and looked after the children. You know, so they really had a good little bit of teamwork going, but there just wasn't any more sexual communication and sexual intimacy. And there was one particular day that Debbie actually stopped and thought back about how long it might have been since they had sex. And it was nearly a year and she thought, no, that can't possibly be right. So she did her calculations again and thought back to the last time that they'd shared that intimacy and thought, gosh, you know, maybe Chris is having an affair. It's the first time it had popped into her head. And then she thought, well, maybe he's not attracted to me anymore. And the more she thought about it, the more worried she became because there had not been this intimacy. So she went to, to Chris and she said to him, do you realize, you know, that we haven't had sex for a really long time? And, you know, is there something going on? And he said, absolutely not. He said, I just respected the fact that you're tired and, and I am as well and we've got other things going on and some nights I'm not even home, I'm travelling with work. He said, but I love you, I care about you, I cherish you. Um, it would be good to have sex again, but you know, it's a bit tricky. We don't quite know how to start up again. And it's true, you know, when you're in a long-term relationship and you want to start having sex again, you don't have those chemicals those, that flooding of fantastic feelings that you had at the beginning of your relationship to help you. Suddenly sex isn't easy. In, in fact, it might be a little bit awkward and you don't know how to start or what to say and you haven't got these fantastic feelings on your side. And so the, the tool Sex Startup is about one, just one particular strategy that you could try to start getting back some sexual touch. And it's about having a long hug. Now you might think this is really quite funny, but when people are connected with a hug, when they're actually touching, they feel safe with one another. You don't hug someone unless you feel safe with them. If you don't feel safe with somebody, you stay away. And so when you have a long hug and you have to say to your partner, I want to give you a hug and it's going to be a long hug, get comfortable, stand, you know, stand reasonably close to one another but it doesn't have to be tight hug that's a get that gets a bit awkward and know that you're going to hug for about mm, maybe 45 to 60 seconds that's a long time in hugging terms but as you do that you don't have to be undressed you know do this fully clothed and have a, little, a bit of space between you so a bit of air can go through as you actually hug one another you will find that your body start to relax. It's quite amazing. And it's to do with the fact that you feel safe with this person. And as you relax even more, all the, the stress and the distance seems to drop out of your body. And that doesn't lead to sex necessarily, but you start to feel as though you can be close again physically. And it is just the startup of your sexual connection. Try that, you'll like it. Bye.